I play Elsa, um, who is now the queen of Arendelle. Um, and I guess you could say like in the first movie, she had these powers that she felt were too much and they were scaring people and hurting people. She was trying to figure out how to harness them. And in this film, she's, she's um, needs to test them to see if they are enough to save her people and her um, kingdom. And so she sort of has to step into them even more. And um, she goes on this incredible journey and this quest with her family um, to sort of unleash and, un and, and discover the origins of her powers. And on that journey, they uncover some deep secrets about their past and their family. But mostly, I think they really sort of bring out the best in one another. And as they're getting older and maturing, um, it's that wonderful thing about sisters and friends and family when you push each other to be the best that you can be. What Chris and Belle has done with Anna is, is pretty incredible. She's sort of turned the Disney princess um, around and has broken some rules and really allowed this sort of imperfect young woman to be perfect. And she celebrates her idiosyncrasies and um, her mistakes and um, allows us to see a real, authentic, strong, funny, um, beautiful character. Into the Unknown is this beautiful song where Elsa's hearing this calling. Um, she doesn't know what it is. It's this weird sort of cooning sound, they call it. And it's kind of haunting her and, and, and aggravating her at first because she doesn't understand it. And, um, but she's, she knows something's missing and she needs to understand why, why she is who she is. Why does she have these powers? What, what, why is she being called to this? What is her purpose in life? And um, deep down, she knows she needs to find those answers. So Into the Unknown is her first realization that she can't just sit by in the kingdom. She needs to get out there into the world and, and get the answers. Chris is always, he's the one that wants to show you every stage that they're at artistically and visually. So he'll come out with the, with the storyboard pages and shit. this is exactly what's happening here. You know, because you come in for the last couple of years and things aren't animated yet. You see drawings, you see, I mean, I'm just fascinated by this process and I love that he wants to share it and they don't just cut, say, come in and read your script. They are excited to share with you the process and their thought process and wh where they're, why they're making changes they're cha doing or, or um, what inspired them to make Elsa go on this trajectory as opposed to this trajectory and so I just I find it fascinating and I feel very grateful that they uh, are so inclusive. It's a couple of years later and it's a wonderful way to parallel sort of everyone that's growing up with the movie because the girls are growing up as well and um, and the story is deepened and enriched and um, I guess their curiosity and their lessons that they're learning are a little bit more challenging and um, the choices they have to make in life are a little bit tougher, and there's tons of adventure. It's uh, f exciting and suspenseful, and but most of it lies in the heart of this family and these two sisters and their loyalty to one another and how they would do anything for each other.